Today I'm going to show you how to cut an excess panel in a ceiling. And, and it's going to be different than a regular excess panel because it's in a pool house. And they want to be able to vent all the moisture out right into an attic fan. So to be able to get in the attic, we're going to make a 20 by 26 inch hole. And I'm going to put this gable vent in here to vent the... Uh, to vent the moisture out of the room, and it's gonna act as a cover for the excess and a vent. So it's gonna be two things in one. The first thing I'm gonna do is just take a square and measure off of the, the ceiling joints. As you can see, they're like 14 and a half inches apart. So I'm gonna have to cut one out and build a box with a two by six. And that's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna take a two by six. We'll cut that out right there and build a box for this thing to sit in. And, uh, and then we're gonna have a piece of trim that overlaps it on the bottom and then this, thing, this vent right here is gonna sit down in it. Now we're gonna cut through the uh, sheet rod. We're gonna build a frame. So we're gonna go back an inch and a half. That's the thickness of a two by six on each side. And take a square, a speed square, and make a line to the saws off, cut it out. You gotta cut that one ceiling joist side. built a box out of two by sixes. And that box is gonna go up there in between the ceiling joists. Just like so. Now we'll screw it in. I'll, I'll nail that in between the joists. That's right. Nail that into the joists and put another one in the other side and run some sheet rod screws in to tighten the ceiling up a little bit. All right, so now we have built their frame. We've taken that trim boards, 45s on the corners and stuff like that, left an overhang. We made it to measure the opening. It's a lip right here that overhangs that this piece is going to sit down in. Come right down here, just like that. Just like that. And there you got your vent. That square right there. There it is. It's an access door and a vent. Now, if you just want to build an access door, you can take a piece of plywood and paint it instead of using a vent for the hole. Or you can take a piece of plywood and, paint, and put a piece of sheetrock over top of it or cut a piece of drywall and paint it. Seen it all kinds of ways. This is this right here. They wanted a vent and an access door to the attic of this pump ice. So we decided to make two in one. So that's how we did it. So if you like this video, subscribe to Geek Go TV. Got any questions, leave a question in the comment and I'll answer it. Y'all have a good day.